this effect works best when you have two distinctive drone shots with the same speed and at least one of them consisting of a clear skyline. Now that's out of the way, let's start off by selecting our first drone shot, quote unquote, the bottom world. Head over to the video inspector. Under transforms position, adjust the Y axis by pulling it down until the skyline is somewhere in between the middle or below the center of the frame. Moving on to our second drone shot, in other words, the upside down top world. Select it and then place it right on top of our first drone shot. Head over to the video inspector. Under transforms rotation, set the angle to 180 degree. Once you've got that, adjust the position's Y axis by pushing it up right until your upside down world meets the skyline of the bottom world. Right now the skyline looks a bit sharp to me, so let's fix it by heading down to the effects browser. In the search bar, type in graduated mask. Double click on that. Head over to the clip. Pull down this target point to reveal the center point. Select the center point and then pull it all the way down to further out the sharp skyline. Please feel free to adjust and play around with this tool until you're happy with the result. So here's the result for now. This is entirely optional, but if you want to, you could also add some dust, snow particles, or even light beams as an overlay. I'm currently using Rocket Stock's free 4K volumetric light and dust overlays. Of course, the link will be included in the description box down below, so definitely check that out. Simply drag the overlay and place it right on top of your existing drone shots. Adjust the length of the clip. Head over to the video inspector. Under compositing, set the blend mode to screen. And once again, please feel free to play around with the settings like the opacity, the position, the rotation, or whatever that may be. I did just that, and here's the result. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial somewhat useful. And if you did, please leave a like and also subscribe for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. Good luck with your project, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.